What's up everybody, it's Jeff at the Burnout Shelter. Got a fines video. Uh, most of these are from the recent Chicago Land Record show uh, back in July. Um, first one in 16 months. It was so much fun to get out to a record show again and dig and spend a lot of money and come away with some pretty cool stuff. Also got a couple of record store finds, but most of these are gonna be from the record show. And uh, I know everybody knows about it by now, I'm, uh, I'm sure, but Eric Weinbender was in a, a bad car wreck. He's in the hospital recovering. Um, I will leave a link to his channel and to the um, GoFundMe if you can help out in any way. Uh, it would be great, you know, his, you know, his family's taking care of him, his, his girl, and uh, anything you can give would be be awesome. Uh, I, I met him back in June. He was in the Chicago area. Really sweet guy. He's got a great channel. So if you can, help him out. We're pulling for you, buddy. Get better, man. So I'm going to go through the uh, record show finds first, and then uh, I'll do the uh, record store stuff. New Colony 6, Revelations from 68, um, Mercury, Mercury label. Uh, this is, uh, this is okay. It's kind of sunshine pop in the vein of like, uh, the association. I guess the one to get by these guys is their, uh, their debut from 66 called Breakthrough, but, uh, it's expensive and rare. It's probably a good copy. Probably cost you a hundred bucks if you can find it. But, um, yeah, there was like a $2 pickup. Another $2 pickup, Grand Funk, self-titled from 70. Um, this is fantastic. Loose, early 70s hard rock. Um, I tend to lump these guys in with kind of pedestrian, early 70s hard rock, but this is, a, this is a great album. There's no hits on this. It's just a lot of loose jams, man. Really good stuff. Really killer record. Ooh La La by The Faces from 73. I think this is our last record. Um, it's got that kind of gimmicky cover. Um, you can't go wrong with Faces, man. Uh, really killer, I mean, boozy rock and roll. Fantastic. Got that cheap, too. Uh, also got this one cheap. I think I paid five for this. Uh, Van Morrison. St. Dominic's preview from 72 on the Olive Green Warner label. Can't go wrong with classic era Van Morrison for $5. This next one, The Illusion, self-titled from 69. This is their second album, I believe. This isn't so much psychedelic as it is Kind of swaggering hard rock, kind of blue-eyed soul, but uh, really good. There's some psych flourishes in this, like tinges, but it's not really psych. It's I would say this is more uh, rock, hard rock. Um, but you can get these cheap. I recommend this band. They're good. Snagged a copy of Nebraska for five bucks as well. This might be my favorite record by him right now. This is just very. This is basically an. Uh, a record of demos, but I think some of his best songwriting, man, it's just very brooding and dark and, and excellent record. I also got the, uh, original inner with that. Um, vinyl's not in the best shape on that one, but I can, I can always upgrade. Can't, couldn't pass that up for five bucks though. Uh, snag bang, bang, your Terry Reed by Terry Reed. This is his, uh, debut from, 68 on that yellow epic label and he was like 19 when he did this um there's some covers on this bang bang my baby shot me down by sonny bono uh season of the witch by donovan uh summertime blues um not essential terry reed this is this is good it's not great his 70s stuff is epic uh, but this is this is uh, this is pretty good. Uh, I'm a big Terry Reed fan, so I'll pick up anything by him if I can if I can find it. So, um, picked up T-Rex, Beard of Stars from '70. 
This is on Blue Thumb. A cool Blue Thumb label. And this is kind of folky T-Rex. Um, you can kind of hear the glam trying to come through. But this is this is kind of hippie, kind of folky T-Rex. Um, this is more Donovan than glam, but man, fantastic. Really good record. Finally snagged a copy of Raw Power. And this is a 77 UK pressing on CBS Embassy. Um, of course, the Bowie mix. Um, it can be a little jarring, but I think that may have been by design. But, I mean, Stooges Raw Power, really stoked to get a copy of that. Even though it is a 70s reissue. Um, West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band Volume 2. I believe this is our third one from 77. Or 77, 67. Um, weird, wacky, psych. Really good, really good album. Now, the seller that I bought this from, it's on that tricolor, it's a stereo copy, had this marked at 35. The disc was in the jacket with no inner sleeve, and it was a little scuffed. It looked maybe VG minus, G plus. And I, I'm like, hey, man, this... <laughs> You got no inner sleeve with this. It's a little scuff. Would you take 20 for it? He's like, sure. So I got a pretty good deal on this. It, it plays better than it looks. And uh, yeah, really stoked to get a copy of that. This next one, Freedom Through the Years from 71. This is, uh, this is some straight up, uh, you know, early 70s hard rock on Cotillion. Never see this out in the wild. I've seen it shown to the VC. I'm sure like Dylan from Noble Records has shown this and other people, but um, yeah, really, really fun early 70s hard rock. This is another one I saw on Dylan's channel, Head Over Heels. Uh, never see this in the wild. This was not cheap. Um, I did pay up for this. It's on that Red Capital label. Uh, this is another just a really killer Early 70s, I think this is 71 as well. Uh, early 70s hard rock. So thanks to Dylan for recommending this. This is fantastic. Finally snagged a copy of Electric Prunes. Um, had too much to dream last night. Real decent copy. Uh, stereo tricolor reprise. Uh, guy had this marked at 18, but it was in a half off bin. So I picked this up for a cool $9. Um, there's some really cool proto-punk movements on this album. Um, I think their second album, Underground, is a better psych album, but there's some really good garage. The psych on this is, some of it's kind of try-hard sounding. I don't know. They just, they, I don't know if they're just trying to, they, they sound like they're kind of trying to cash in on, on the whole psych movement, but their Underground is a fantastic psych record. This is, I think... The better moments on this album are, are more garagey and proto-punk. I guess that's just my opinion, but yeah, really happy to finally get a copy of that. New and improved Blue Cheer from 69. Of course, Randy Holden plays on the second side. And uh, yeah, second side is, I think, in my, well, in my opinion, just far superior to that, to the first side. Um, I wish he would have played on the entire album, man, because uh, I, I can listen to that guy play guitar anytime, man. His, uh, that solo album, that Population 2, is fantastic as well. But, uh, yeah, really happy to get a copy of that. Randy California, Captain Copter, and the Fabulous Twirly Birds from 72. Fan-fucking-tastic, man. This is so good. Um... This might be the best stuff Randy California ever did. And I, and I say that as a big Spirit fan, but this is, this is unbelievably cool, man. This is kind of heavy psych, um, but yeah, really, really good. Uh, this is on Epic as well. Been looking for a copy of this for years now, and I, man, I was so happy to find this at that show. Um, this next one, Transformer, David Stoughton. I think this is from 68. 
This is a white label promo um, on Electra. And uh, this is some weird shit. It's about as weird as the cover looks. It, it's kind of electronic, experimental, some eerie female vocals. Um, but yeah, I only paid 15 for this. And uh, if you see it, I'd pick this up. It's, it's strange. If you like bands like Silver Apples, you'd like this. It's pretty good. Hey, this is the last one from the show. Tomorrow, self-titled. This is a, I believe this is a 76 reissue on that Visa Records label. The uh, originals didn't have that colored lettering here, but uh, yeah, some good kind of whimsical psych from, uh, I believe, 68. So yeah, those are the show finds. Um, really good, really good haul. Um, and I also have a couple of uh, record store finds. So these next two I found at Record Breakers in the Avondale neighborhood. Really good record store. Those guys are really friendly over there. I recommend that store. Um, Lemon Pipers, Green Tambourine from 67. This is a good mix of, on Buddha. this is a good mix of bubblegum, uh, garage and psych and I mean it's a fantastic album all the way through I was always aware of the, the the hit Green Tambourine but yeah this is a fantastic album all the way through I, I highly recommend that and also at Record Breakers I picked up Kaleidoscope Side Trips on Epic this is from 67 as well I believe um, I'm not sure what to make of this yet. I, 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 it wasn't what I expected. Um, not, not that that's a bad thing necessarily, but it, it kind of reminds me of, if you're familiar with the album Triangle from uh, Bo Brummel's, it's kind of got that folky, slightly country tinged feel on a few of the tracks. There's some e Eastern influences on here. Um, I gotta spin this more, I've spun it like twice. Uh, I, I, I liked it a little bit better the second time, so I think this is gonna grow on me, but um, yeah, Kaleidoscope, side trips. And these last two are from uh, Reckless Records. Um, this is a reissue of What You Gonna Do by Christopher. This is fantastic. Uh, Texas Psych Garage. Um, Originals of this go for upwards of four to five thousand um, dollars, but this is this is great. the The first song's kind of like a Texas boogie number, um, and it's it's it, there's it's not effects heavy psych, but it's it's garagey, it's it's psychedelic, and um, really good, really good shit. Um, and it's on this sort of private press looking label. And there was a uh, booklet that came with it too. Pretty cool. And this last one, boy, this this is oof, unbelievable. Red Hash by Gary Higgins this is a reissue. Well, actually, this never had a an official release when it came out. This is, uh, I think, he originally recorded this in '73. And it was it was privately released. Um, I think Dylan from Noble Records actually has one of those copies, those early copies. But um, he showed this on a video in the last few months, I think. And this this is just brilliant um, acid folk psych. It, it's so this is just unbelievable. I can't say enough about this. Um, you just, you got to hear it. Uh, stream it if you can. Uh, it's on that red hash label. But I, I just, I can't recommend that one enough. Came with this. Looks like, looks to be like a bumper sticker, but. And a lyric insert. So that's it for me. 
Chicagoland Record Show and some record store finds. Uh, Eric, get better, buddy. We're all pulling for you. And uh, everybody have a good weekend, and we'll see you again.